Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Leo. Now, this week we have the Sun, your ruler, and Mercury, the ruler of communication in the fifth house of pleasure. And you obviously feel very at home in the fifth house. It's where you live, you're loving it, it's about being generous, it's about having fun, it's about freedom of spirit. It is squaring Mars, the planet of action. Uh, but who cares? Are you bothered? Not really. Although it is in the second house of finances. So there's a tendency on the one hand to be pulled towards pleasure rather than doing the practical thing that you should be doing financially. You might find that this week you're going out partying, you're expressing yourself with something extravagant and you don't care. You want to look fabulous. You want to be as Leo as possible this week and express that divine feline personality of yours. Now, Venus, the planet of love, and Pluto, lord of transformation, are conjuncting in the sixth house, which is very analytical. It's saying to you, how healthy are your relationships? How healthy are you in your relationships? It could mean a long and drawn out conversation about love. Perhaps you meet up with one of your girlfriends or a best friend, and you're discussing the ins and outs of a relationship. And you're determined to transform that relationship and you want to bring healthy, positive change to that relationship, which is a good thing. Careful not to overanalyze. Let's talk more action. Allow yourself to think about how you can make all of your love relationships healthier. And perhaps that comes from going within yourself and looking at how healthy and balanced you are at the moment. Are you taking care of yourself? Is your nutrition correct? Are you also having enough fun? Enough fun so that, that you're feeling great about yourself and able to express all of your beautiful Leo-like qualities within that relationship. However, whatever happens this week, you will allow yourself to have an adventure, to spread your wings, and you're able to dazzle people with your charm and magnanimous personality. Do pay attention to the details when it comes to your relationships, but don't overanalyze something so much that the relationship ends because you've thought about all the intellectual things, but not really what your heart wants. If your heart wants to be in that relationship, again, don't overanalyze, but change your own vibration. And when you change you, absolutely everything changes. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.